Hello there, it's Matt here. Obviously, it's been a bit of a sad day for people who care about the general welfare of people in the United Kingdom, but don't worry, we can get past these election blues with some fun video games to take our minds off things. Let's have a splash of colour with New Super Mario Bros. A warming reminder that even though it's been 30 years, in many regards things are still exactly the same as in the 1980s. Or maybe we could play some Monster Hunter. Kill something grand, cut it up into pieces, and then sell those pieces. Dota 2, a game where you're thrown into a world full of characters and systems that you're terrified you'll simply never understand. Shadows of Mordor! Manipulate a few people in key positions of power and then control a nation of orcs. It's an old one, but how about Beyond Good and Evil? A game in which it's openly revealed that the media corporations are actively lying and completely corrupt. And then the story just sort of stops and never actually gets resolved. FTL is one of my favourites. You just power up your ship's systems and then you just ensure that the power remains distributed to the same places in the same way just forever. And if you have any opposition, you can just gradually suffocate them. Sunless Sea, float out into the abyss in search of personal fortune whilst nourishing yourself on the corpses of those less powerful. Or Wolfenstein, where you can immerse yourself in a dystopian fantasy where it feels like you're one of a handful of people who doesn't want the world to be run by fascist robots. Or finally, I guess there's Bloodborne, you know, immerse yourself in a world of constant apathetic horror in which you can effortlessly outmaneuver and kill the disabled. So yeah, hopefully now we can all have a fun day and a fun few years. Thanks for watching. Bye! Wow. If you've enjoyed this video and you'd like more people to naturally stumble across it on the internet, then clicking the like and subscribe button magically makes that happen. Also, if you really, really like my stuff, then you might consider funding my work on Patreon, because otherwise it wouldn't happen. Thanks very much. Bye!